This year we're showcasing our brand new dual LED system. It's our, our 550 product. Um, the great thing about this product here is the lens design that you can see inside is over 95% efficient, which allows us to uh, reduce the power consumption of the system. Uh, we also utilize a switching power supply inside of the fixture, which helps us to get our power consumption down as well. The system, this control box right here actually runs your whole system, whether you have a single beacon installation or a triple beacon, beacon installation. The uh, controller will operate both systems, so you don't have to have a different controller. You have a uh, TLP in here, which actually communicates with the lights on the tower uh, via twin X communication line right here. And the great thing about this technology is that you have a single cable installation. So whether you have uh, one beacon or three beacons on the tower, you got a single cable that will come out of your control box. It'll run up the tower to your side light level. And then from your side light level, you'll continue up to your beacon. Um, this also helps to cut down on your installation cost. Uh, the installation is clean, cuts down on wind loading. So it, it's really a uh, positive benefit for the end user. And Jeremy, what's the, um, uh, the catalyst for a tower owner to install the new technology? Why are they going to move from the existing lighting system to, to this system? Uh, it's going to be power consumption and longevity. With, with this system here, you're reducing your power consumption. Uh, the, standard, the, the standard white strobe that we used to use would pull around uh, 95 to 100 watts. Uh, the other LED white white portions on the market pull about 80 watts. And this particular fixture here pulls 40 watts in the day mode and 20 watts in the night mode. So you get a, you get a great power savings on it. Uh, and by utilizing the LED technology, you're able to get a five-year warranty on it and an expected life of at least seven to 10 years out of the system. And in terms of inspecting on a quarterly basis or annual basis, are they able to eliminate uh, having to go up and take a look at these things on a more regular basis? Using this system does not give you that ability, but if you actually utilize our monitoring system, uh, we can file for that with the FCC and get you the, the waiver on the quarterly tower inspections.